Hello everybody, this is Mr. Uberduck and I'm back with another redstone creation. Now, you see I'm in front of a wall, but at the flick of this lever, that soon changes and I can walk straight through the wall and then flick the lever again and the door closes behind me as if nothing had ever happened. Now this is in fact a 3 high expandable wall door, which means that there's no redstone running up the sides, so instead of having the lever would be on the wall like that you in fact take out all those blocks and have levers like this now what this means is that you do see these blocks moving because the only way we can get signal up is by pushing blocks up and on top there's a redstone block and that's what carries the signal but it is for all intents and purposes seamless now they this may not look very small to you at the moment but that's because I've had to add on a few blocks to get the input easily accessible for this showcase so let me just strip it all back and show you what it looks like so this is all the redstone and now it looks much smaller doesn't it one thing you may notice on the bottom is that the input's not in a great place and also this piston what the heck is this doing there's nothing else on that line so why put that there well the truth is I was messing around with a 3 high expandable door and I came up with this for the bottom which is pretty compact and it does work that it gets pushed down by the top But so I found this and I wanted to include that but the only because I've used space so efficiently in this design here the only place I could get another piston was there and that's a bit of a problem so that's why it's so much bigger on the bottom, but I couldn't have fit it in the top if I didn't have that place space to work with. So the top is actually pretty crazy because I didn't expect this thing to work. I got half of it done and I was just testing it. Then the whole thing worked. And that's because this actually pushes up twice if you watch it. See it pushes up again. And that just gives me a free pulse into this thing so I can get a double to work with this little wiring which is fantastic the top is very messy though because I didn't actually have to compact it in the end so I haven't bothered to change it but I think this is the world's smallest if I'm wrong feel free to correct me it's not that efficient my use of space as you can see I've just got two blocks and two redstone taking up a whole layer one piston taking up the whole layer on the bottom but it, but you know it's okay. So this comes in at three by twelve by seven, making it two hundred and fifty-two blocks, which is very small. I you don't include these two pistons here; they're just for show because the whole circuit, none of it is actually used in these two layers. None of it. I could take these two layers out, and the circuit would still work properly. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you may think this down here; these are powered by the torches. Doesn't that count? Well, technically no, because that's still an input, which is why it's in the quartz, but... I mean, it's, it's your decision to make, really. It doesn't make a difference in your survival. But this is just for being able to say... Yay, I've got the smallest. Now, it's you just saw there, it's not very reliable, but it works most of the time. It's failed about 1 in 10 times for me. Probably slightly more when I'm recording. This is unlucky. <laughs> yeah. But but anyway, that's about it for this video. I'm should I put a world download? Should I put a world download? I might put a world download. You'll have to check the description. But just some quick news, I've actually uploaded a new video on my new channel, Mr. Cubaduck. So that's an unboxing of four twisty puzzles. If you want to go and check that out, feel free. I'll link that in the description. I should be uploading fairly regularly on that channel. I won't have a timetable or anything. It's just whenever I feel like it. This channel will still be my main though, so don't worry. But anyway, my name's been Mr. Uberduck. Thank you guys ever so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.